all right folks do a little video here real quick you know it's dark um 939 series truck um problem would be um air system problem with the uh, spring brakes lock up uh diagnosis is the spring brake tank has no air in it but the rest of the tanks are showing air so what you'll want to do first um check out which valve it's going to be we've actually got two valves this is a kn 25060 this is a regular old t uh all half inch fitting t um this is a kn uh 23000 one-way check valve it only allows air to go this way nothing to come back this is a two-way check valve this bottom line down here is going to be green it's a supply line from main tank it is the main pressure for this check valve there's a little valve in here that goes up and down depending on which tank has air in it to supply air to go through here well this is actually a secondary supply of air from the passenger side brings air across um, and comes into this goes across whatever one's got the most pressure is how it works this is a supply line your linear valve on your parking brake it goes up there all right spring brake tanks empty your brakes or locks out of the highway you know um you've lost air pressure well your tank has air has a little lost air pressure but the rest of your tanks are showing full so what you'll do first uh, diagnostic diagnostic take on this is going to be to take this line here off it's 13 16 um wrench take it off start your truck up see if you have air coming to it if you have air in your primary and secondary tanks do not worry about checking either one of these lines for air because there is nothing but this line between here and there. If it's pinched, it's going to knock a hole in it and either one of them lines is going to leak. This bottom line, though, of supply goes up on the frame rail, goes down back to the cross member that crosses over behind the air dryer. It then goes around the air dryer, that's out of the frame, back up the frame to the primary tank. It's a real long line. So if that thing pops a hole, you're going to know about it pretty quick. So, all right, diagnostic tip. Pull this upper line, this red line here off. You have air pressure coming to it. You know the KN25060 is allowing air to pass. So you'll put that line back on and check this line. Take this line here, same 13 16 wrench, take it off. And if there's no air here, but there is air here, then you know you have a bad KN. 23,000 one way check valve. This thing will get full of rust and water. The little rubber piece right there will say the sprit will actually rust shut. So, air here, no air here, replace KN 23,000. If there is no air here, then you know there's not going to be any air here. There's nothing between this valve and this valve to prevent air. Then you'll replace KN 25060. But you can make sure there's air coming to it. We said this line here. There's always air coming from the tank on the other side. And this line here goes on the frame rail, comes back around. If there are air in both the primary and secondary tanks, no reason to worry about it. If there is no air here, though, you need to replace KN 25060. So, that'll do that. Alright, we're on the passenger side of the truck. The top line that feeds that KN 25060 is right here. This little line right there. It goes up and it goes through the cross member. Right here it goes into one of the little channels and that cross member goes all the way across to that cross member. So if it got hurt, then you got something probably you didn't belong into or the line's just bad, but you'd hear the air leak in there. The other line that comes across is gonna be the uh, line that comes on the frame rail and everything else. It gets fed off of, I think mosquitoes, hold on. It is fed off of this line right here. So, actually, no, sorry. That line is actually right here. It's actually this first line. Sometimes it's this one, depending on how they ran it, but it's always gonna be this first line here on that. Sorry, this line here actually goes to your uh, rear ABS valve. So, um, this line here goes to your uh, front ABS valve. But usually it's this line always here, it goes down the frame rail back behind the cross member for the air dryer, crosses over, and then comes out the bottom of the frame rail across and supplies that KN25060. But 
that's a diagnostic tip for a uh, no spring brake uh, tank pressure um, from that um, common problem that, that two-way valve does go bad um, I do suggest though if there's a KN 25060 if it is failing go ahead and replace the 23,000 while you're in there take it all apart anyway might as well replace it keep it as a spare because the same check valve goes on the front of both your secondary and your primary tank so in case you have a bad check wave valve eventually you got a replacement but that's it